Welcome to my video about Brawl Talk. I'll express my point of view on the update and maybe the price of the new skins. Angelo is the first new brawler in this update joining Willow's trio. This brawler lives in a swampy love tunnel at Star Park and loves gossiping about brawlers to make them fight each other. Angelo is a sharp shooter and the longer you hold the aim, the stronger the attacks get. Besides that, Angelo can also hover over water, like a mosquito. With the super, Angelo summons a part of the swamp and it damages all the enemies inside. It also makes Angelo's own attack more powerful by adding poison to the arrows that deal damage over time. Angelo, his main attack is basic. But with activated super, his attack becomes like Byron's attack. And his ability flying over water is like Eve's ability. Healing in swamp area is maybe his star power. I rate this brawler 5 of the 10. Elf Angelo, which makes the brawler even more lovely. This is ugliest skin ever. 0 of the 10. Now someone who is a bit more pleasant to listen to. Melody is a mythic brawler and the second of the update, arriving in late March. She's a popular karaoke singer at Star Park and has some mood swings. Sometimes she's sweet and delicate as a rose, and sometimes harsh as its thorns. She's an assassin that has a long-range attack that deals moderate damage. But what makes her strong is that every time she hits a target, she gets a musical note around her. These musical notes keep spinning around her and deal damage on contact. She can have up to three musical notes around her, and they will gradually disappear after some time. Once she charges her super, she gets three dashes that must be used during the same super activation. And you can't recharge your super unless you use all three dashes first. The idea is pretty much to get your musical notes around you and then dash onto the enemy. Melody. Main attack kinda combination of Mandy's attack and Amber's second gadget. Not bad. Mechanic of her super something new. I rank it 7 of the 10. Melody is coming with a Norse themed skin called Sif Melody. And we'll get this is classic rare skin. 3.5 of the 10. Go. Six new hypercharges for Cordelius. He now slows whoever is in the Shadow Realm with him. Buzz can keep using his super while his hypercharge is active. El Primo now has a bigger area of impact and drags people towards him instead of pushing them away. Belle's super now homes in on her target. Sprout's walls now deal damage if you get too close. And Bibi's bubble gun now splits into two if it hits a target. Hypercharge is always cool, but I have favorite three. Next season is coming in March and it's called Sands of Time. And it arrives with the Sands of Time skins. Shelly Dancer attacks with her lamp and is the skin of the Brawl Pets with two color variations. Shelly Dancer Iris and Shelly Dancer Dahlia. Dynasty Mike, he becomes a dirty wealthy jammer with his skin. He literally throws gems at his enemies. And Thief Edgar is ready to take a bit of those gems from Mike. Sargini, the name says it all. And lastly, Desert Scorpion Chuck being a 299 gem skin with all the special pins, profile pictures, sprays, and a custom voice and takedown VFX. Sands of Time skins are awesome. I rate it 9.5 of the 10. But most of all I'd like to buy it is Sir Jenny, Thief Edgar, and Shelly Dancer. Line friends are getting another pack of skins. Fangirl Colette becomes Line Friends Connie. Rocket Brown mixes Brock with their classic bear called Brown. And Gus gets Sally's quirky vibes with Balloon Sally. Line Friends skins are cute. 8 of the 10. I would to buy Balloon Sally. They are the Ragnarok skins, which will be the Norse inspired theme of the season in April. Fenrir Buzz from Maintaining Order the Pool now spreading chaos at Star Park. He's also the Brawl Pass skin with two color variations, Elder Fenrir Buzz and Skuga Fenrir Buzz. Lucky Chester is just a perfect fit for this character. Cordelius becomes the one-eyed all father with Odin Cordelius. Scotty Jesse now becomes ingenious in the art of hunting. And Melody gets a 29 gem skin inspired by the goddess Sif. And lastly, Thor Bibi the Goddess of Thunder, and she's a 299 gem skin, getting all the assets and a special takedown effect. Ragnarok skins are coolest, goddest, and richest skins ever. I rate this 10 of the 10. My favorite skins are Fenrir Buzz, Odin Cordelius, and Thor BB. Mecha skins are back, and we'll have two new ones in this update. Mecha Leon, with the whole 299 gem treatment, and also two color variations, Shadow Mechaleon and Radiant Mechaleon. 
and another winner from Code Super Sound May campaign, Mecha Coat. Shout out to PJ the Creator for being the most voted Mecha Coat skin in the community. And it also comes with two color variations, Paragon Mecha Coat and Renegade Mecha Coat. Mecha skins are perfect, but so expensive. I rated 11 of the 10. And more random skins. Picture Fang with one extra color variation. Squeaky Note, a 29 gem skin for Squeak. And Poop Spike, literally our sh** skin ever. And the last one, Primo Shark. Wait, is that what I think it is? This skin's not bad. Poop Spike and Primo Shark is my favorite. I rated 8 of the 10. New Showdown Mode Trophy Escape. This game mode better than Showdown Plus. But I don't like play to solo Showdown. So I rated 8.5 of the 10. Our league is dead. And ranked is alive. Ranked mode. I don't know what to say. Practice needed. Served beautifully. Naisui. VFX. Rank star drop. New feature background for battle card. Finally. Fame now a little bit profitable. Backgrounds, icons, and pins you get for each fame rank. More gold and silver skins. So, the update turned out to be very eventful. Some of predictions from community is true. If I don't make a mistake in counting this update, has a record amount of skins. 28 skins. I rate this update to 7.5 of the 10. Comment down below your rate of this update.